Alrighty, today we're gonna discuss risers. So as we can see right here, we have our standard 24 inch diameter concrete manhole riser. These are very common. Uh, you'll see them mostly on older systems uh, in and around Baltimore County. But the interesting part about this one is that little beveled edge on the lid and on the riser ring itself. In our area, uh, you generally need to have some access to the septic system, depending on the depth of the tank, size of the tank, etc. Sometimes you'll get these riser rings, sometimes you'll get the little six inch clean outs. If it's a new system, you're almost always gonna have one of these and they're generally made of plastic. So I'm not a huge fan of this style of concrete lid strictly because of the bevel. Getting these, uh, this kind of lid off of the riser is fairly difficult. So like right here, you can stand up and you have plenty of room to lift it up and out of the hole because you have to clear that three inches on the, on the lid to get it off. But on this one, it's a little bit harder depending on how tall you are because you might have to lift even higher to get it up and over. The style that I prefer is gonna be a nice, flat, smooth concrete that you can either slide off uh, with the hook or I prefer the plastic ones where they'll actually bolt down to it, uh, the either black ring or green rings to make it to where that lid doesn't just pop off. One thing to note about this particular riser is we've got some roots growing in right over here, right along the base of the riser where it touches the top of the tank. These older style concrete tanks generally were just placed on top of the tank itself and not necessarily you know, glued down or some kind of uh, sealant added or even like hydraulic cement on the outside. And over time, if you have trees next to your system, the roots are gonna find their way in. Sewage water is super, super full of nitrates. Basically it's fertilizer. The plants love that stuff and they're gonna slowly find their way into the tank. Now, these roots right here aren't necessarily causing any major issues, but if they work their way over there to where the outlet line is, they could potentially plug up that pipe. And that's where we run into a problem of things backing up into the house. So we've got two options to consider on fixing this particular situation. Option A, which is the cheaper option, rip these out, reseal the riser from the inside of the tank. You know, kind of messy, but it's possible. Option B, which is the more expensive option, but more of a permanent solution, would be to excavate around this and install a nice new watertight unit, whether that be concrete or whether that be plastic. Most new systems are going to be plastic just because it's cheaper, easier to fix uh, when things go wrong, rather than having to replace the entire chunk of concrete, you can just replace a small section of plastic and it's way easier for everybody involved and way cheaper. So below, let me know, what would you do? Would you pay the cheaper amount to have a temporary patch? Or would you, since you have all the spalling on the walls, go ahead and opt for the full replacement of the riser? Go ahead, let me know below, and then let's get that conversation started. So if you have an older home like this, the biggest concern that I have with this style lid is these little chips breaking off right over here. Over time, parts of those are gonna break because that's a fairly heavy lid and no fault of anybody's own, the gases in the sewer in the septic system are gonna chew up the concrete and make it weak. Over time, lifting and pulling off and closing that lid, you're gonna break a chunk of that concrete and then you're gonna have issues with odors in your backyard or front yard, side yard, or wherever. In this particular property, the septic's on the side yard, so it's not as big of an issue, but uh, you do run the risk with this style of having uh, odors seep out. Now, some advantages of this style of riser is that the lid is difficult to get off. So a kid's gonna be a lot less likely to be able to move it and get it out of the way. Uh, so it is an extra layer of safety. We generally recommend anytime that we have a riser like this with no lid on the bottom to go ahead and consider installing a safety lid. This style of lid was the lid that was probably manufactured with the tank itself. Um, so it's not gonna fit back in the hole, but they do sell a, a, dirt, a different type of safety lid that you could install it would require upgrading this riser ring itself though. The final issue that I run into with this style of lid, is this metal hook right here, right? So this septic system is only 30 years old, but in another 30 years, this is gonna have been outside, in the sun, in the rain, through all of the elements, and that metal will eventually rust off and you're not gonna be able to easily open the lid. There's ways to deal with that, whether it be installing a new hook or something to that effect to the concrete itself. 
but that is tedious. Um, and most times you don't know you need a new handle until you go to lift that and that handle pops right off. So if you're a homeowner, I usually recommend either keep on top of this, check this out every now and again, replace the lids or the handles or the lids as necessary. So that way your pumper doesn't get tired and not pump your tank, right? A good pumper with a two chamber system like this should pump front and back every single time that they, uh, that they come over. But if that hook's gone, they may say, oh, well, you know, it was a little bit too difficult to get the pump hose in there. So we had to skip that one. That does you a disservice and it will not make your system work as efficiently. So just keep an eye on it. Check it out every now and again. Make sure that you replace your, your system components as they break. Usually for septic systems, it's far cheaper if you keep on top of the small things. If you don't keep on top of the small things, eventually it will turn into a big thing and it gets fairly expensive. If you enjoy content like this, I have more videos posted on the world of well and septic daily. Please feel free to go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Till next time.